everybody. So today I am going to teach you how to automate your Twitter account. Uh, with this way you can make Twitter work for you without spending too much time, you know, sourcing uh, interesting articles and news and you can share really interesting content. I found this way with a couple of tools uh, that I'm using, which all of them are free. So this method I'm using is 100% free. So this is my Twitter account. Uh, it's a Twitter account I've set up since 2010 and I have around 17,000 tweets and it's mainly news and interesting articles and pictures of science, energy, environment and uh, human awareness, kind of geeky stuff I like and I also expand them into a blog that you can visit later. So this is how the feed looks like. It's a lot of uh, scientific stuff, physics, um, you know, Einstein, space, all that kind of stuff I'm interested in. So the way I automated this is through using a couple tools and I have them here in my, in my, in my bookmarks. Uh, the first one I use is Google Alerts. Then uh, I use uh, If This Then That, Feedly. I work with this together and then Buffer. This is the one that publishes. It has a great scheduling features. So let's go and review the first tool I'm using. This is a tool that helps me source the content on the internet. It's a free tool by Google. It's called Google Alerts. You can search it in, in Google. And what it does is that you can, uh, it sends you alerts on specific uh, keyword queries or search queries that you type. So for example, in my case, let's see Milky Way. Type Milky Way. And here, this is a, the alert preview, the alerts you will be getting. You will be getting alerts as they appear, but you can also um, set up how often you want to get them, is you, if you want to get them once a day or as it happens. So if, if it's as it happens, you will get an alert you know, every time Google indexes some content. But I would recommend probably once a day because then you will get uh, a couple of articles just in one uh, feed. You can get them on your email or on an RSS feed. In my case, I set it up, I deliver them to my RSS feed. It's important because the RSS feed is going to be read by Feedly. So once you have your, your alert set up, what you do is you, for example, if you have um, a martial arts blog, so, or MMA, MMA. So these are some of the articles you will be getting in your alert. And as you can see, the Google Alert filter system is really good because you will get, you know, the top result um, uh, indexed articles. All of them are relevant. It's very hard, you know, for the system to, you know, send you some irrelevant stuff. And use keywords that, you know, are not confusing. So for example, if you write, uh, if you like bakery and you like cake, K can probably mean uh, a lot of things and it might not say send you uh, the results you're looking for. Um, so what I do is I just uh, write all the queries that I'm interested in. in, in. I, I edit the, the, here I have one in Japanese, but what I do is I have the query here. I make sure the language and the region and the it's delivered to an RSS feed. And then when I have them, I have them here. What I do is I pick up the RSS feed URL, which is here. It's an XML. I copy it and then I send it to my Feedly. So what I do is I just add content here, which is the URL. And then you can see the Google alert. So it's showing me that I already have this feed uh, added into the Google Alert Consciousness, uh, Consciousness folder, which is this one. So it should be here. Um, before this was the Google Reader, but now it's Feedly. You can open an account for free and it will store your RSS feeds. <clears throat> once you have this once. Once you organize all your content, what I do is that I classify all the content I have in my RSS feed. So for example, I have physics stuff, I have space stuff, I have nuclear power stuff, I have psychedelic stuff, spirituality, all this kind of stuff. I have it all uh, classified. So what I do is um, I classify everything here in folders. You can organize them 
here in different folders and then these folders will appear in the if this this then that recipe so for example in this one here that's the science folder I click edit and then it will pick up the new article from this category I can pick up all the categories it's picking up actually the categories I have in Fitly so here's picking the science and the science one has all these alerts so all of them are going to be together sent together in the are going to be mixed together in the RSS feed so you organize your content in if this and that you create your recipe I'm going to show you how to create a recipe from scratch um, create a recipe then if this which is a feedly if feedly sends me a feed on something on I can check new source article tag you know new article from category so I'm going to choose new article from category I choose for example um, science and I create the trigger so every time I get something new in Feedly it triggers a buffer uh, tweet so here I have the buffer buffer is a great tool because it helps you schedule your tweets it shortens your URL you know it's great so I can add to buffer and add to buffer with a photo I've been testing the photo feature and it doesn't work that well because it picks it up automatically from your from your article and sometimes it's the wrong picture sometimes it, the article doesn't have a picture so it's terrible so here what you can do is you can customize it further and I can write hashtags science for example or you know my blog visit myblog.com for more and you can automize automize this it's really great uh, you also have other ingredients you can add more tags you can change the title you can append the URL blah 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 I just have it like this so once you create your uh, buffer it's sent to buffer you need to create another account so basically I'm using here uh, Google Alerts you need a Gmail account if this and that account it's free Feedly account with the basic feature you can do everything this one with the basic feature you can do everything and, and this one with the basic one you can do everything so what I do is I just create this one you have to have at least five follow followers on your on your Twitter account to make it work uh, it's free and you just connect um, the buffer app with your Twitter account and then this is how your tweets are scheduled so as you can see um, when using the the feature for add a picture sometimes there's no images so you will get this thumbnail image not found and this thumbnail will appear on your feed which is terrible like this so this ones I have to delete because you know uh, users followers are not gonna like this some of them are irrelevant so what you do is buffer gives you it buffers all the tweets and it gives you uh, an opportunity to edit your tweet so for example in this one I can delete this one very easily I can edit the tweet add a hashtag you know and I can even see if the if the URL the feed is sending me is relevant so let's see this URL sometimes uh, the Google alert will send you some URL that's you know not indexed anymore and it will send you to a 404 error so these ones you have to check before 
So here's this article that's uh, physics plus humanities. It seems like it's a very, you know, academic article, not the kind of article my followers would like to read. So what I do is I just remove it because I, I didn't like it. It's not interesting, it's not engaging. So for example, these articles here, uh, small galaxies help lit up the universe. I think it's fun. It also has a, a small thumbnail. It works. Here, it also has another thumbnail. Uh, time may run backwards inside black holes. It's just relevant to my content. The particle physics of you, it also has a nice thumbnail. The thumbnail is much bigger than this preview. Uh, it opens, you know, normally uh, on your Twitter feed. I'll show you later. So this is an article that I'm letting, uh, I am uh, allowing to be published on my Twitter. And I previewed it before and I think it's, it's, it's really interesting. And uh, it's relevant to the content and stuff that I share. It's cool. So... Uh, here are some articles that have been uh, sourced and tweeted automatically. All of them are content I like. This one's here. Uh, I'm just trying to see what I'm going to do with this one. So I'll probably delete them and, and retweet them with an image or something. But, you know, so far this is working for me. So with the scheduling, you have... Uh, you know, you can tweet, tweet as many tweets as you want. You can set up the hour, the day. For example, if you don't want to publish on Sunday, you just delete the Sunday. It also gives you the, the, um, the feature of optimizing the best time for your tweets. So here, I'm going to click here. So what Buffer does is analyzes the, the activity, uh, the user activity on the countries you are sending your tweets, and it will schedule them based on the user activity. This is very useful because uh, the, this will increase the engagement on your tweets. So for example here, this is my, my Twitter, you can also uh, schedule for your Facebook page. So I, I want to post, for example, uh, 16 times a day. It's quite a lot, but then it gives me a simulation. It's like a forecasting forecasting tool that gives you a recommendation where to uh, add your tweet. So, so this is the, the engagement curve. As you can see uh, in the mornings, uh, there is the highest engagement. Then after lunch, you know, it's also really high engagement from 2 p.m. And then it picks up a little bit in the evening. The lowest, you know, the worst times are here in the morning. So it gives you the times. You can replace them. I'm not going to replace them because I don't want to post 16 times a day. It's a lot of work. Because, you know, this is an automatic tool. Everything is, it's, it's a robot, basically, that you're building here. But the thing is, is that it's not perfect. Sometimes, you know, some weird content that has nothing to do with, with the stuff you're interested in sharing will, will get in your feed. And uh, this is not good. You have to control, you know, every now and then. Uh, buffer gives you also um, the, you know, it gives you the, the chance to review everything and edit. But you can also check them on your mobile. And the mobile app is great. You can do, you know, almost everything you can do here on your mobile app. So this is, this is how it works. Uh, it just published a new one. Let's see. Let's refresh it. My internet is a little bit slow today. No, it's uh, the same one. Okay, so it, it should be published uh, in a couple minutes. So, so far I have 559 followers. Uh, not so many, but, you know, I'm happy because I can share my stuff. And sometimes I get retweets and replies and everything and people like it. And I also have another account that's with the same dynamic. This is in Spanish and MMA. And uh, it's also using the, the same uh, automation of formula.
I have 7,436 tweets and uh, 400 followers. You can, if you combine the automation, because my, my real account is this one, this is 100%, you know, human. Um, if you combine automation with, with your humanity, I think you can go pretty far on your Twitter accounts and gain a lot of followers. This is the main, my main account. This is the one that's 100% human. Uh, all the content I read and I share, it's it's by me, uh, no algorithms or anything, and um, and so far it's been working fine. You know, I am not you know a super Twitter user. I'm not obsessed with getting you know millions of followers. I just like to share stuff, and uh, and that's it. You know, but if you are if you're really interested, in, you know, in gaining a, a huge followership, you know, this system can save you a lot of time you know at least finding content because the google alerts are amazing and if you are you know focused on some specific topics it can work pretty well you know for some keywords that are very ambiguous and 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 mean a lot of things you know it can be it can be a little bit confusing for the system and it can send you you know a lot of random stuff but for example with nuclear power i'm sure it's going to send me to nuclear power stuff i mean there's nothing else like that also with Milky Way, it might sometimes send me a chocolate Milky Way, but you know, Milky Way, there's not much content published on the topic on chocolate. NASA, I'm sure it's gonna be only NASA info. So, you know, it depends on your on your on your niche, but you know, generally speaking, it should work fine. So just to um, review everything, uh, the the way you automate is just using these four tools, of course, Twitter. But Google Alerts, here you have it, it's free. Then Fitly, which was um, the previous Google Reader. Here's where you um, basically organize or all your feeds. Then uh, um, Buffer, you know. Then once you have your Feedly and Buffer account created, you open your if this and that. This is an automation tool that works with a ton of software and, and, and apps, online apps. And with this one, what you do is um, you create the recipe. And it's very straightforward. Once you connect Feedly and Buffer to your if this and that, uh, it should work uh, perfectly. You can play a lot, a lot with, with this application. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, drop me a line uh, to my Twitter or, or my YouTube channel and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.